In this lecture, I am going to create login API in Node.js with DWT package. In the previous lecture, during registration API, I created this auth.route.js file and from this file, I exported this router and I imported our auth route inside our main route file and I use auth route to our express app and I provided slash auth before every auth route and inside our entry file, we already imported our main route file. Now, let's open our auth route file and then let's add a route for login API route method will be post and UI will be our base UI slash auth slash login and it will execute auth controller's login method I already imported auth controller inside our auth route file during registration API now let's open our auth controller and then let's export a method called login from this file let's get request and response as a parameter to this method now I'm going to add variation rules for our email and password field. I already added variation rule during registration API with the help of node input validator package. You can watch my previous videos or you can see node input validator package documentation for validations. Now I'm going to take the code from our register method and I'm going to use inside our login method. So during login we need only email and password field. Let's remove unique rule from email field and I am going to use await inside this method so that I will add async before this function and if validation fail then I will return adjacent response with status code 422 and I will return the validation error messages now I am going to find the user data with the email address user is providing during login and I am going to store user data to a variable called user data and I am going to get the data with the help of user model find one method and this find one is a mongoose method and in this find one we need to provide the condition and I'm gonna search the user data with the email address user is providing during login and this will return as a promise so let's use await here and I already imported user model inside our auth controller during registration so that we can use user model inside our auth controller now I'm gonna put this code inside a try catch block so that we can get the error if any error occurs and if any error occurs then I'll return the error messages through this one data with status code 400 so let's put this code inside this try block and then I will check if user data found then I will check user's password and if no user found then I will return a JSON response with message user is not registered you can provide any other message if you want so if no user data found with the email address user is providing then I will provide I mean I will return a JSON response with message user is not registered and the status code will be 400 and data will be blank object and if user data found then I'll check users password in our users collection we stored users has password with the help of bcrypt library so I'll check users password with the help of bcrypt library compressing method so let's import bcrypt library inside our auth controller Let's require bcrypt library here and store the data to a variable called bcrypt and then let's copy bcrypt compressing method this will return as true or false so we can put this code inside a if condition and inside this compressing method in the first parameter we need to provide plain text password which we will get from request body and then in the second parameter we need to provide the users hash password which we will get from this user data and then password field so this will return us true if password matches or this will return us false if password doesn't match and if password doesn't match then we will return a json response put status code 400 and the message will be incorrect credentials
and if password matches then I will create an API token with the help of JSON Web Token package. So let's check documentation for JSON Web Token. So first of all let's install JSON Web Token package from our project root. This will take some time to install the package. So JSON Web Token package successfully installed. Now let's check the documentation. There are several ways to create API token through JSON Web Token package. So I'm gonna take this code and I'm going to store JSON Web Token to a variable called token and we can generate JSON Web Token with the help of JSON Web Token library. So let's import JSON Web Token library inside our auth controller and store it to a variable called jwt and then inside this required let's provide the package name which is json web token now inside this jwt sign method we need to provide data as an object and i will provide user data here and then we need to provide secret in the second parameter and then we can provide expiry in the third parameter as an object so i'll provide expiry to 12 hours and then i'll store secret this will be jwt secret and i'll create a variable inside our dot env file called jwt secret jwt secret and if no secret present inside our dot env file then default secret will be my secret or any other secret if you want you can provide for default secret and then i'll provide this secret in the second parameter of our jwt sign method and then i'll create a variable inside our dot file called jwt secret or and then i will provide the secret here you can provide any secret if you want inside your dot env file or you can provide jwt secret directly here okay so this will provide us an api token and i'm storing the token to a variable called token and then from this method i mean from this block i will return a json response with status code 200 and i will provide user data here through json response and i'll provide the message to login successful and i'll return the json web token okay now it's time to test our login api through postman so let's open postman and then let's open a new tab and then let's provide request url which is our base url slash auth slash login change the method to post and then let's call this api endpoint without providing email and password you see we are getting validation error messages now let's provide email and password through xww form url encoded data i already created an user with this email address inside our users collection during registration let's provide the email address and let's, let's provide wrong password you see now we are getting incorrect credential message with status code 400 let's provide correct password you see now we are getting user data with message login successful and status code 4200 and we are getting api token in the json response so our login api successfully created in the next lecture i'm going to uh, i'm going to tell you how we can use express modular to protect our route so stay connected